What's going on, y'all? <clears throat> Great Dane back at it again with another video. So I got a comment on a previous video when I was talking about the fresh and fit situation. And the guy asked me if I could do a video on how uh, one could protect themselves from child support. Now, I, I told him I'd do this video, but I gotta make this clear. I have to make this very clear. Now, I'm not a financial expert. I am not a legal expert. I am just going to tell you all basically what I did. So this is not financial advice. This is not legal advice. But I want to kind of give you the game that I used. And, I mean, you really need to, before you do anything I'm talking about, make sure you do your own research, talk to some professionals. Don't just take my word for it. Okay? So here's the deal. I've been self-employed for since 2018 kind of give you guys some background about me so i haven't had a job since 2018 um now now there's one exception to that rule i did have a job a few years ago i was only there for a month so i usually don't count that but all things being equal i've been self-employed since 2018 um 2018 is the last time i had a job job for real ever since then i've done uh, various side hustles i've had businesses and whatnot um, the closest thing I came to a job was being an insurance salesman, which I mean, that's a job in a way, but not really, um, because you're paying for everything yourself. But what I'm getting at is when you're a self-employed person and when you're a business owner, the, you basically own the tax code. Um, the things that you are able to do it, with, with taxes is insane. Now, it comes with its detriments, but I've been able to avoid being caught up in court and all kinds of other goofy shit just by, just by me um, being self-employed. Now, I'm going to tell you something. Every woman I've dealt with, I told them, when they got, when they got goofy on me, I had, I've had, I've gotten five women pregnant, including my wife. In my lifetime, I've gotten five women pregnant. Um, one chick miscarried. Um, I think she miscarried twice. My wife actually miscarried twice. Um, well, not one, uh, once um, before we actually got, you know, together, together like that. And then, uh, well, that, it was before we got married. And then the other three chicks, they were tripping. So one chick, <clears throat> two, one chick, um had an issue whatever the other three chicks knew um one of them for in particular she tried to play me so my thing was i'm like well we're, we're going to go down down to the clinic right and my thing is whatever a woman wants to do i'm, I'm gonna be behind you whatever you want to do if you want to keep it okay whatever if you want to you know what if you want to get rid of it okay whatever i don't i don't really i don't really make a big deal out of that because you're not you ain't gonna have this kid hating me. You know, you telling this kid, yeah, your, your daddy wanted to get rid of you. Or, you know, you or you get rid of it now, you regretting listening to me. We're not, I'm, I don't play those games. I know what we talk about, I know what I talk about, I know what we talk about, but I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I, I stay out of that. The woman ain't, she ain't coming back to kill me, you know, after 10 years, cause she, she bad. Nah, 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 nah. So, this chick tried to play me. Now mind you, I'm self-employed. Now, two things about being self-employed. Number one, I don't have a physical job that she can come act up at. First thing. Second thing, I don't have anything, I don't pay taxes. I haven't paid taxes since 2018. Um, legally, legally. <laughs> um, because when you're on that, when you're on this side of the game, you get crazy deductions. You get the deductions you get are insane. Like, uh, for example, last year, I got a, I got a fifty-two thousand dollar tax credit just off of my mileage alone. Just off my miles alone, I got a fifty-two thousand dollar tax credit. And with my income, I'm not really in the income bracket where the IRS is gonna like, you know, come after me or audit me or nothing like that. 
um, if I was making like hundreds of thousands of dollars a year, not paying taxes, then yeah, they'd probably come after me. But I'm like under a hundred thousand dollars a year. So I'm not really concerned. Um, my income, I mean, with my income, it feels like I'm making a hundred thousand dollars a year. I'm gonna be honest, but I mean, you know, there's drawbacks to that, which I'm gonna get to at the end of the video. But anyway, so because of these things, like she couldn't trip. So I told her, I'm like, look, I'm like, you can work with me or you, or you can't, it's up to you. I'm like, either way, it's up to you. I mean, I, cause I, I don't have to do anything because once again, I don't have a job that she can come down to. I don't have income that she can fuck with. And when you're self-employed, there's something called a P&L statement, profit and loss statement. If I got called down to the court, they got to work with me. And, be, and, and the courts are not really set up to deal with self-employed and business owners, not like that. And so basically, if, if, I, if you're not paying taxes, I mean, it is what it is. And even if you are, there's so many different ways you can you can you can say, oh well, no, this BMW I drive, oh no, nah, that's a company vehicle. <laughs> I don't own that. <clears throat> so you can like y your house can be. I mean, you can do all types of things in your corporation name instead of doing it in your name if you want to protect yourself on child support, and whatnot. There's so many different things you can do. Um, as a musician, I was making money under the table. So if you're making money, I mean, if you got a side hustle or whatever, I mean, you're like, yeah. So there's a lot of different things you can do to protect yourself in that way. So what this does is as a man, it gives you leverage. It's a very key word. It gives you leverage as a man to where now a bitch, got, she has to get on your program or, or, or not. And I told her, cause she wanted me to send her some money for the, uh, for the clinic. I'm like, no, no, no. I said, what we're going to do is I said, I'm going, I'm going to come pick you up. We're gonna go down there together. I said, we're gonna go down there together and we're gonna do this together. She didn't wanna do that. Okay, cool, don't worry about it. I got you. You're right, you don't wanna do that, that's fine. I ain't worried. Y'all know what I did? I said, okay, I said, we'll figure it out. So she going, she going off in the text messages saying all this goofy shit. I just don't respond. So I check in with her about a week later. Hey, did you get it done? And she going off again. I said, okay, cool. And I just, I just blocked her after that. <laughs> like, I'm like, nah, cause she mad. Cause I don't, I'm not giving her any money and I don't have to give her money. So, I mean, you know, truth be told, I could have a kid out there. Well, I could have two kids out there for all I fucking know. <laughs> I could, it's very possible, but there's nothing these chicks can do to me. Nothing they can do. You know, because at the end of the day, I don't have a check that they can take money out of. I don't have checks that they could garnish. And I don't keep I don't keep the bulk of my money in my personal accounts. Most of my money is in my business accounts and they can't come after my business accounts. <laughs> oh, man. So, <laughs> so, I mean, you know, I mean, hey, it, it is what it is. Um. And then if they ask me, well, you bought this car. Well, I will actually know that car is in my business name, actually. It's in my business name. It's not in my name. So, yep. Yeah. I mean, there, there's so many different ways I can play the game. You know? And and that's what that's why I tell dudes, like, yo, if you're going to be out here fucking around doing all this shit, you need to have your finances in order. You need to be in a place where... If, let's say like with the Jamie Foxx situation, Jamie Foxx is being sued in New York. If Jamie Foxx is set up correctly, let's say if he had all his stuff in, a, in an LLC, right? Let's say the chick sued him. Let's say she won. What's she going to get? Nothing. She ain't get nothing. If I got sued right now, they would get nothing. Now, when it comes to the tax thing, now where it will fuck you up is if you're trying to buy a house or do shit like that, unless you're paying cash or unless like, you know, there, I mean, there's ways to get around that. But once you buy a house, that is a, that is a personal asset that is like, you know, you can, that can be fucked with. So my thing, personally me, 
if I was, if I was, if, if, if I, if, if, if I was gonna talk to a man right now, I'd say before you get married, you need to, you need to try do everything you can to buy you a house before you get married, or before you get, you know, like that far in, buy you a house, and once you buy you a house, like really buy you, get you a house, get you a paid off car, get some money in the bank, and really start, you know, working on building a business of some kind. Because I'm gonna tell you, man, um, when you do those things. Why is this, why doesn't this ambulance have his lights on? That's crazy. They don't have his lights on. That's that's the goofiest shit <coughs> I've ever seen. He must be a new driver. <laughs> anyway, sorry y'all, got distracted. But yeah, you yeah, so I mean yeah, that that's kind of like what I was trying to talk about with fresh and fit. If they're doing everything on the business tip, they'll be fine. They'll they'll be fine. Um, they'll they'll be fine. If they're doing everything on a business tip, they'll be fine. You know. So, I mean, and to be honest, if and I, I'm, I'm sure I'm sure Fresh and Fit, I'm sure they have some funny. I mean, if they're talking to guys like Robert Kiyosaki. I'm sure they're plugged in. You know, so I mean, it really, yeah, he, 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 fresh, fresh, I mean, uh, yeah, fresh might not have, Walter might not have any money. That might be true. He might not have money. Um, which means that basically the chick could, I mean, she could try. What, I mean, what's the worst that can happen? What, he pays $100 a month in child support? If that, <laughs> not even, not, not even $100 a month? That's why, that's why I laugh when these rappers get put on child support. I'm like, y'all niggas haven't learned the game. Personal net worth is not it. You know? Y'all, I'm like, y'all need to, y'all need to, you know, start, you know, diversify, <laughs> diversify your portfolio, nigga. Like, from, what's that, 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 that Dave Chappelle, um, that Dave Chappelle, uh, skit. Wu Tang Financial, you got diversified, nigga. <laughs> but seriously, I mean, you gotta, you gotta really. I mean, if you, if you wanna be playing a game like that, that's if you wanna be out here like that. Um, if you're trying to get married, I mean, just do all, just you know, make all your money before you get married. That's what I would say. You know, don't don't get. I mean, I don't care how how nice that bitch is today. That bitch will change on your ass. Tell you what I know. And unless you wanna be giving her half. You know, 10, 20 years down the line. I mean, it is what it is, man. I mean, shit. So, that's the way I look at it, man. But anyway, I just want to throw that out there. Make sure y'all do your own research, do your own, you know, get your own information. You know, don't take my word for it. Go talk to some lawyers, go talk to some financial experts, you know. And if you don't like what they're saying, or if you feel like what I'm saying is correct, then find some information that aligns with that. Um, I'm gonna tell y'all, check out Glendon. I know some of y'all don't like Glendon. Go check out Glendon, man. He put he put his old videos back on the channel. And he talks about a lot of this stuff on his videos. Like even, this is stuff This is stuff that he did himself. Like, so, I mean, yeah, I'm giving, you know, so. Glendon, Glendon's the master of that. I think he has a course on that, if y'all. I mean, I'm, I'm not trying to like, you know, I'm not advertising for him or nothing like that, but check him out, you know? So anyway, um, Anyway, it is what it is, man. It's your boy, Great Dane, and I'm out.